I have the great pleasure now of being joined by Dr. Anthony Winshaw Boris, who is the president elect for ASHG. First, let me say congratulations. Thank you very much. I know you are going to be incredibly busy, but what are you most looking forward to in the coming year? Well, I've been a member of the American Society of Human Genetics for the last 30 years. It is my home society, and I've felt that it's been my home society pretty much ever since I've been in genetics. And I'm very fortunate to be coming in uh, my presidency year just as we've established a new strategic plan with a number of priorities, restructuring of the, of the committees for uh, the ASHG to try to implement that strategic plan and make the society uh, uh, an important place where we can do things for human genetics and genomics as well as uh, support our members. So it's a really exciting time to be uh, be, to be becoming president. So many people are so passionate that we have spoken with about ASHG, and I'm sure they want to know what your goals are to achieve in this year. Mm -hmm. We just rolled out the strategic plan, so we have a number of areas where we're trying to move forward uh, through our committees. I would say that they're all important to me, all the different areas in the strategic plan, but I think the two that are of particular um, uh, interest to me and, and have a special importance to me are, first of all, diversi diversity and inclusion. We really need to become more diverse in our society, uh, as we often do in scientific organizations as well as our academic institutions, but it also means we have to be diverse in terms of our outreach to, uh, per uh, to participants in studies. It's very important uh, for uh, just genetic knowledge to make sure that we uh, engage everyone in uh, the human population if we're trying to study human disorders. And of course, we want to provide benefits to everyone. I mean, that's part of our vision statement, that we want to, uh, people everywhere are going to benefit from human genetics and genomics research. And the only way we can do that if we have diversity and inclusion. So that's one of the main priorities. And the other main major priority, and it's related to diversity, is that we would like to be considered, and I hope we are considered, the central and most uh, relevant organization for human genetics and genomics research. And as such, we can uh, partner and, and interact with a number of different genetic societies, but also non-genetic societies. Human genetics and genomics integrates into all areas of biology and medicine. So, so how do we engage with everybody when we have a, a limited capacity to do so? And so what we're trying to do is to figure out how we can engage broadly uh, the human genetics community in uh, the world. But you know, first we'll focus on North America. We certainly have some natural partners uh, in uh, the, uh, the uh, Americas, but we also want to be uh, considering partnerships throughout the world. Again, we can't partner with everybody full bore, but how do we engage everybody, uh, uh, all of our geneticists who are interested in human genetics? And every one of those collaborations will help the geneticists, but also help the people that you are involved with. How did you originally get involved in human genetics? When I was a graduate student and trying to decide what field I would go into, uh, the first choice was sort of would I, would I be involved in adult medicine or pediatric medicine. And it turns out that I was interested mostly in pediatric disorders. And uh, in particular, I was interested in developmental disorders, and many of those are genetic in origin. And we didn't know what the genetic causes were of a lot of those birth defects. Uh, but it seemed to me that when I got into genetics now 30 years ago, that there was uh, a, a lot of momentum moving forward into genetics, in particular, there, was, there were discussions about what wasn't called the Human Genome Project at the time, but this seemed to be on the horizon. And fortunately, I was, I was lucky that that's the way direct, the, the field moved, and now it's integral to so many things that we do. Congratulations. Thank looking you. forward to your tenure as president. And I'm looking forward to it as well. Thank you very much. Thank you.